Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium with Java framework tutorial, we are going to learn how you can implement the runner in the framework so that you can execute your test suite in your framework. So till now, we have written just one test case as of now, and we have done a lot of other things to create or to build our framework so that we can extend this to write more test cases. And as we will go along and write more test cases, basically we won't be executing the test cases like the way we are running now. So at the moment, what I'm doing is this is my first test case. I'm right clicking and then I'm clicking it as test ng test. But over the period of time, when you'll write more test cases, you'll be having different test suites, right? So you'll have regression test suite, you'll have smoke, sanity test. So there'll be different, you know, set of tests which you need to execute. So you'll be creating different test suites and you would like to execute all the set of test cases together. So rather than going one by one, you would be needing the functionality to basically run the test case as a suite. So say for example, the regression test suite has 100 test cases, you just right click on the suite and all 100 test cases should get executed. So how you can implement that in the framework? Now, because we are using testing framework testng, testng provides this functionality out of the box. We just need to configure it. Let's understand how we are going to configure. First thing, because we are using Eclipse, we need to in install testng plugin for Eclipse. Okay. So I have already installed it, but I'll explain you how you can go ahead and install. So on the testng website on the download page if you go to this eclipse plugin section here right so go to the download and you'll see this eclipse plugin this might change the sequence might change as the website get, gets updated but it will be somewhere so um, on the website in eclipse plugin so basically there are two ways you can install the eclipse or test ng plugin through the eclipse marketplace how you can do it so basically just visit this page here okay and i'll show you that you might get error with this approach if your eclipse is not the up-to-date one okay so on this page this is the first way and if your um, test ng plugin gets updated successfully with this way that's absolutely fine so basically what you have to do is you have to simply drag this install button and drop it in your open eclipse marketplace okay in this side of it and you will see that i'm getting errors because it is not compatible with the version of my eclipse okay you might not get this error or you might get it if you are getting this don't bother about upgrading the version of the eclipse as such because uh, that that's even you know like more tedious work if you go down here you will see what are the eclipse versions that are compatible so i'm showing you this so that you understand if you're getting certain errors how you are going to basically figure them out, them out what is the issue so going to this detail you will see whether the eclipse that you are using is in this list and whether it will be installing in case you are getting this error there is a second method okay so second method is basically from the update side this is what i'll be using so from the update side just copy this url okay and you need to go to help install new software in your Eclipse. Okay, so I have copied this URL and then I will go in the help in my Eclipse and click on install new software, right? And here you just paste this URL there. Okay, and hit enter. As soon as you will hit enter, you will see this test ng appearing here and you simply check this test ng, right? Checkbox there and click next. Okay, so once you will click next, it will calculate all the dependencies and all the details that are required to install this test ng plugin for Eclipse and you will see I have got this message. Okay, now this because I have already installed or test ng was already installed in my Eclipse. I'm getting this original request has been modified now because this Maven uh, test ng Maven integration and uh, this is already installed so it will get updated okay so let's go ahead and update it and in case in your case if you do not have test ng you have to simply go ahead click next and it will install the version that will be latest right so I'll click next and I'll say accept the agreement read through it and accept the agreement and click on finish and the installation will happen so if I move this here, okay, you will see that it is installing the software at the moment, right? So for me, it is updating the previous version of testng Eclipse plugin. For you, it will show installing software. Once this is installed, then we'll go further. So let it happen, let it finish. 
Now you can see it is increasing now. It is basically moved to 30%. So you'll see this warning. So installing unsigned software. Um, so you just say install anyway, right? It's just a warning. And then we have to restart Eclipse ID to apply these updates. Okay, so simply click restart now. Okay, so Eclipse has been restarted, right? So now if you want to check whether the plugin has been installed, you can again go to the help, right? And here go to the install new software, right? And you can see here what is already installed. Click on this link and it will open install software window and you will see test ng and all other dependencies are already installed, right? So this means the plugin for test ng plugin for Eclipse is installed now. I can close this window, okay? And now let me move this here. And here now, how can I create a test suite wherein I can add multiple test cases, right? So what you simply need to do is after the plugin has been installed, just right click on the framework or, or on your project and go to basically um, test ng, right? In the option, you will get test ng and go to convert to test ng, right? So once you click on convert to test ng, you will get this XML got created, okay? So I can directly click on finish, right? Or I can just copy this, okay? So I can copy this file and place it in my project in the hierarchy that I want, okay? So as of now, what I'll do is I will simply say location. So I'll provide the location. So instead of, okay, let me do one thing. Let me create a folder. So I'll click on right click on the folder uh, on the project, click on folder and I'll create a folder test runner where I will keep all my runners or all my suite runners, test suite runner. So in this folder, I will have this testng.xml and I'll again go back, right click on the project, go to testng and convert to testng and let me browse to that particular folder, right? So now I have created this test runner. I'll pick that up, click OK. And now this testng.xml, the generated one that you see here will be placed in this test automation framework test runner folder and I can simply click on finish. And here you will see testng.xml got created. Now, if I'll open this, this is basically my testng.xml, which contains all the classes that I want to execute. So I can say, say for example, this is my first test case, right? Now I create another test case for which the name is uh, within test case. This is my second test case, right? Say for example, okay? So I'll say second test case. So I simply need to add those test classes here and when I'll right click and click on run as a test ng suite, all the classes that are there, all the test cases that are there will get executed. I don't need this base test here, class here, because anyways, my test cases are referring to the base class, right? So I'll simply, as of now, there is no second test. So I'll just remove that. And this is the name of this test suite. So now say for example, I am preparing this is uh, my uh, say for example, BVT suite, right? So I just name it as BVT, okay? And then here, this is my test suite or BVT test suite, okay? And here I can say BVT test, all right? And here I can have multiple, you know, test cases or the classes that are there. Okay. So now I simply have to say right click and run as, okay. And test ng suite. So what this will do is now, if there are multiple test cases in my project, I just need to add them here. And just with the single click of this test ng.xml, I can execute the test cases or all the test cases together in one go. Okay. So I don't have to go to test cases individually and execute them separately one by one. So you'll see it is executing as it used to do before and it will perform same actions and complete the test case. So provided the username, the password and sign in and now it will close. So you will see here now the test suite has been executed total run past one right so since there was only one test case here uh, that we have added just one class which has one test case so that is why it's showing as just one test case that has been passed right so this is basically how we will use the test runner and we will run multiple test cases or create a test suite which has multiple you know uh, test cases within it and run it as a test suite within our framework. So that's all for this particular tutorial. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.